Howdy folks, welcome back to Tahitian County. It's a bright, beautiful morning here, March 2nd, so we're midway into spring. And we're over here on the last field. It's 150? No, 155. And we're going to get some lime and some anhydrous down. Get this field all ready and prepped to plant. And I hope you're doing well. I'm recording this uh, late at night. It's almost 10 o'clock. After a long, stressful day at work. And I'm looking forward to doing some farming. I've got to do some more work here in about an hour. So, <laughs> But for now, we farm. So let's get right to it. I've got everything moved over here. As you can see, I upgraded the lime spreader. That little lime spreader I had. That was just going to take too long. So I splurged. I went and bought this. It's kind of an older model. So it was only about $7,500, I think. Something like that new. And it is well used. You can see I've got all the other fields full of lime. And I've spent a ton of money. It's taken a lot of lime to get this pH back in balance. Uh, but this works really well. It's got about an 11 meter or so spread. It's got a really nice big capacity. And it has been working a treat. Let's hop on here. You can see it carries 5,000 liters. So <laughs> we're, in a, we're in a lot better shape than we were. But uh, anywho, without further ado... Let's get to it. We'll come back up here to refill here in a bit. Unless this has enough to get this whole field. I'm going to go start down at the bottom. So, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm a little tired. It's been a long day. I'm going to try not to slur my words too much. Sometimes I have a little bit of a speech impediment that comes through when I get really tired. So I'm going to try to enunciate. I noticed when I was reviewing one of my videos the other day that I was... Uh, being a little slurry. <laughs> so let's see here. I think I think I want to do my my drive straight stuff, and we can actually change this so that kind of lines up with the field, more or less. So let's kind of start. Yeah, let's start pretty much right here, and then we can. We can pick up the slack. Oops. Get some, uh, I can turn that off. Let's get some backwards motion going here. There we go. And let's see, I'm not sure what gear we need to be in, but let's hit that and that. Get kind of lined up here. And then this spreader, you got to do a couple of different things here to get it to go. It looks like that's, I think that gate is down, and that's actually down against the tire. So this runs against the tire there to power it, and then there's a gate in the back here. So that closes off, so that was already open, it was ready to go. But just showing you some of the animations here, and then we'll lower that back down on the wheel. And then we can turn her on, and we're all set. Let's get going. And actually, I could bring up the mini map. It will show us. I'm bringing that right into the green. Good deal. Now this is curving, so I'm going to curve with it, and then we'll come back through. Oh, you know, one thing I forgot to do is... What is the the uh, reference here? I've been doing just for for corn. Uh, why isn't it letting me change nitrogen reference value? Now, before I had to change this because it was specific to a kind of plant. Here it just says it's doing opt optimal value for loam. Okay, so maybe we're good. Doesn't have to be like turned off or something, does it? No, it just says loam. Okay, well, whatever. I guess I guess we're good. I'm still kind of figuring out how the precision farming stuff works. Because on the other fields, when I was putting this down, I I thought I had, or maybe I'm thinking of the anhydrous. Maybe it's the anhydrous that I had to change it. All right, so then if I hit just V, okay, so th yeah, that will do both. All right, cool. 
All right, off we go. Let's start spreading again. And then I need to come back around. And we'll just start running back and forth. And that is the name of the game right there. Putting down the lime. Does that still just say... Yeah, loam. Okay, so I think it's just the soil type. I must be thinking of the anhydrous. And then I get down here and I can just do turn. I know this tractor doesn't have GPS, but this helps me drive a lot better because I'm driving with a keyboard. Is that actually the right width? Yeah, I think it's supposed to be like 11.2. No, that's not what I wanted to do. There it goes. Now it's on the right width. I don't know what I was doing wrong. But I messed that up initially. It's okay. We'll get it figured out. Oh, that's not even close to being straight to what I was doing before. <laughs> We'll get it figured out, right? He said confidently before not having it all figured out. It's okay. We can we can fix this. Beautiful. A little bit of a, a misty morning almost. It says sunny, but she's a little hazy this morning. There we go. That's looking a lot better on the width. We were two meters shy. Of being dead on. How's that look on the mini map now? No gaps. All right, cool. Should probably look and see what I'm doing. Best farmer ever, right? So we're gonna be able to do this field, I think, with about two tanks, two tanks worth, two trailers loads worth. Now, I have had trouble with this. I had this set up with uh, course play and auto drive to do the big fields. And it doesn't like going under the auger. So I, I had to spend a lot of time fiddling with that. So my part was basically getting this thing reloaded when it would come back. Other than that, I had uh, AI doing a lot of the grunt work. While I managed things. Then I kept the, uh, the old 2870 going. And then it's got an issue where the AI doesn't want to shift out of second gear, kind of like some of these internationals do. And I think that's just a mod thing with the tractors themselves. Because if I would blip off course play, shift up a gear, and then blip it back on, it was it would be fine. It would be in the right gear. So A lot of times it was only going six miles an hour across those big fields instead of nine, but we got the job done. All right, let's roll that cover off. And then in theory, if I pull under here, we're going to get refilled. Because I'm driving, and I can just drive under here. And then we'll take everything out of what's in the uh, auger here, which looks like it's about 3,600 liters. Now we got to go dump more from the truck. How much more do we have in the truck? None. I thought I had already bought another truckload. All right, well, <laughs> I guess I'll go buy some more. So I actually set up some uh, auto drive down in town. So I can just send this guy off to go buy more lime. Get him up here where he's in the know. If I bring up auto drive. Uh, I want to bring him back to 155 top, I think will work. So he's in uh, load mode. And he'll go from field 155 top, which is over there behind us, down to the fertilizer store and fill up with lime and then come back. So off you go, sir. Go get filled up. So that'll take a little bit. I should have checked that. I thought I still had about half a truckload, but 
Apparently I didn't. Something happened there. I bet I dumped it all in the conveyor or the auger here. So I have to wait a little bit. I think I'll go ahead and turn off the farm all. It's going to be a little bit. So let's turn off the auger and then turn off the farm all. No need of burning fuel because it'll be probably 10 minutes. Wait on him to get back, but we'll spread what we got in the tank here. And actually, you know, there's it's not much wind. I'll just leave the cover off. Get lined back up. Turn on the powder. Make our turn. That's pretty handy with the uh, vehicle control add-on. I can just hit Alt, A, or D to turn to the next left or right lane. Very handy. Now, did that leave a gap back there? It doesn't show it on the map. One thing I've noticed with the precision farming, it'll leave gaps like these visually, but if you look at the like pH map, it's fine. So I'm not sure what's up with that. It looks like I kind of need to bring a, a cleanup pass through here. Actually, is this going to be enough? This might actually be enough. Yeah, we're only down to... F I think this is going to be enough. Here, hold up. Hold up. Hold the horses. You. Stop. Turn around. <laughs> cut it. Whoa! Cut a Yui. In traffic. And then, oops, you just go back to drive mode. And you can come back to uh, arm rear is fine. All right, now back to your regularly scheduled tractor shenanigans. Where's my tractor? There we are. I think we might just have enough here and I won't have to buy another truckload because you can see our money went poof <laughs> uh, now I do need to get some seeds bought because we're going to be planting next month so I need to get some seeds bought so we'll need money for that Is that airplane again? We'll get the rest of this lime down and then we'll hop in the big case. Get some anhydrous on the field and she'll be good as gold. I guess I'll just leave the mini map up. Ooh, now they're now we're down to twenty. So it seems like the application rate is doing its automatic thing. So that's good. Some places on the field seems like it takes a lot. Yeah, we're kind of poor, so I think I'll just spread what I got here, and if we run out, we run out. I don't think... Yeah, we're not going to have quite enough. But I'm just going to spread what we got. I should have enough anhydrous to get the nitrogen up to spec. Down to 200 liters. We're just going to have a little smidge of the field over here. It's not covered. That's okay. I don't think it's worth driving all the way down to town and buying a little more lime for that. Well, actually, we need a wash, so we'll just leave it over here. Oh, stall out your tractor. She's a little muddy. <laughs> just just a little on the muddy side. All right. You done good, 786. You done real good. Shut you off and rest.
kind of clearing up. What's the forecast for the next couple of days here? Yeah, we're looking pretty good for planting. If we can get it get it in the ground the, the 1st of April, I think we'll be in good shape. We can plant uh, corn and soybeans at the beginning of April, so that will work out super. And then how's our price fluctuations looking? Still looking like July is going to be our month. Selling, I assume the corn, so that would be the same way. Yep. So it starts jumping up here in June, and then July is the peak. So I'll keep an eye on that, but it's looking like July is going to be the month for selling. All right, the truck made it back. Good deal. On top of the big case, which is another muddy mess. <laughs> oh, this thing. It is put in the work. Still got 22% back there of anhydrous. I'm glad I only bought half a trailer load. We started out, I think, with... It was like 49%, 51%, something like that. Just about half a tank. And uh, that's going to be about right, I think. Oh, don't hit the farm all. We almost did it. Get right down here where we can enjoy the sound of this beast. But it's fairly quiet for as big and powerful as it is. It's got a pretty good muffler on it. Something about like that. I think we had it in high two was kind of where we're at for pulling the bar here. Oh yeah, this one. Oh, it's being all weird with the direction, but okay. We can kind of do that. Um, interesting. I want to turn on for some reason. There it goes. Okay. Just got to keep pushing buttons. It'll eventually straighten itself out, apparently. There we go. Get that nitrogen level up. What's fun is when the AI is driving, it doesn't leave these tracks. <laughs> I just farm some things, I guess. So that was kind of funny. And as we hit the edge of the field, we'll just manually drive this for a bit. And then we're going to say, turn back this direction. Getting in the grass a little bit there. Yeah, I did. I did made my turn a little late. I'm an amateur. You probably figured that out by now. My plan was to turn, and then we can come back and dress up the edge. Oh, you know what? I didn't check. I tell you, it's amateur hour here. Yeah, it is. It is this one that has the app, the uh, specific target of the crop. So I'm going to do corn. That's why I did it all the other fields. So we may end up putting beans in some of the fields. For whatever reason, it doesn't have beans. Maybe they don't require nitrogen. I don't know. It doesn't have beans as an option. I know beans and corn work really well together. That's what they grow mostly here in Missouri. And they tend to alternate back and forth. I don't remember if corn takes or puts nitrogen. It's one or the other. That's why it works well with the beans. because One gives and one takes. 
Somebody in the comments will know. Like I said, I grew up around farming and a lot of my family farmed, but my dad's, he didn't do any row cropping anyway. He did, we had uh, pigs and cows, but he went into construction full time when I was about five or six, somewhere in there. So I can remember bottle feeding calves and messing around with the pigs a little bit, but I didn't, uh, didn't drive a combine or do any of that crops type stuff. Not up close. You can see it's just barely trickling out the anhydrous, so it goes a long ways. So we're going to have plenty of that. And yeah, high range second gear works really well for pulling this bar. I wish the AI could figure that out. So it would switch up to high range and then just stay in first gear, so it would only go about six miles an hour. I figured this field I would just do myself. Then we'll see. I think next video we'll be planting. I know our wheat, uh, I didn't get any lime down on that, so the wheat's not going to be perfect by any stretch. I turned a little late again. You got to watch me, guys. I don't. Don't always pay attention. I'm a farmer. I'm too poor to pay attention. Can I see that plane? Not out of these dirty windows. Goodness gracious. I like how none of the gear box levers are labeled. Or else it's too small to read. <laughs> nice interior though. Good mod. We're going to be doing a lot of turn in here. I like this setup. This tractor can really turn around pretty much in its own length, which is nice. Yeah, we got to get some of that good case sound going. I think this tractor is a little quieter than the others. But that's what you get with mods. Values are all over the place. I hadn't looked at this thing super close. I assumed it was an articulated tractor, but it's not. It's just four-way steering. Hadn't looked at it that close. Okay, let's make a cleanup pass here if I can get turned around. So I could have went out that way. Six of one, half a dozen of the other, as they say. go a little slower because we're kind of doing some dress up work here sloppy sloppy field work I'll get better I'm pretty rusty you know I hadn't played farm sim in like a year or so been kind of fun getting back in the swing of things checking out a bunch of new mods Other than the AI gear shifting problems, I've been really happy with these case mods I picked up.
shout out to all the modders for making Farm Sim worth playing. All right, let's yeah, let's go get these guys. See, th that's the thing though; they don't show up on like the green. So, do I even need to hit those? We don't know. Let's see if we have fourteen forty-eight liters. Let's see if we put down any anhydrous. Run it back over these patches. It shows all green on the mini map. But maybe it's just not enough to show? Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm thinking it's it's overdoing it and it's just not showing it visually. But it, it, yeah, we haven't used a single drop, I don't think. We haven't used a leader yet. But I think if it doesn't show on the mini map, then you're fine. That seems to be the case anyway. But I can see over here that this uh, edge did not get any, so we'll clean that up. Well, you act like you're bogged down, and then I... There must be a lot of difference between first and second gear. We'll try two range, third gear. There we go. That seems like the revs are in a lot better spot. It looks really funny driving this tractor with the keyboard. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. And then we got a little bit of cleanup to do on this side, and then we're good. There you have it. There's uh, going to be about 30 minutes of field work. Hope you all like that. I know this uh, series hasn't been super popular, but you get a few hundred views overall per video, and I'm happy with that. And I'm having a heck of a good time. And selfishly, that's all that really matters. <laughs> Slam right into the right into that gate. We'll just pretend like that didn't happen. I stopped just in time, okay? Got a little bit along the edge there, but I'm not going to be uh, too bothered about that. All right, I think that should be everything. Uh limed and uh anhydrist <laughs> limed and fertilized we got our ph and our nitrogen pretty well straightened out except for the wheat field so i'm going to park this over here because we're going to need to wash everything whoa slow down slow down everything is dirty as can be there we go good job bigger i'm gonna let you cool off Let's go take a quick look at the fields. So we lucked out with the loam. We got a lot of loam. Take a look at our pH now. Oh, I didn't. Uh, didn't get that field. I thought I put lime down there. Okay, well, that little tiny field. It's okay. We'll, we'll uh, get her all straightened up eventually. Maybe not this year, but eventually. Of course, we didn't get any line down on 152 where the weed is. Uh, Nitrogen-wise, we're looking good. These soil samples are actually over on the neighbor's property, so that looks worse than it is. The green is actually where the field is. We are looking good. All right. Unless something else comes up, we'll be planting next episode. We'll get some beans and some corn in the ground. And then I'm looking forward to July where we can sell. And we'll see where we're at money-wise after we sell off our crops. I do want to get uh, chickens. I want to get some cows. 
Uh, chickens will be pretty straightforward. I'm not too sure about cows yet. I have to do a little planning. But anywho, thanks as always for watching, folks. And I'll catch you next time. Take care.